So guys, a while back I made a video about a ship, and that was the Enterprise, Enterprise D, and I toured it in Unreal Engine. It's a video that many people watched, and um, I thought today we do something similar. We're going to do a tour, but not of a spaceship, but uh, of another type of ship. I don't really know what I'm hiding here, because you probably read it in the title. We're going to take a look at the RMS Titanic. I wanted to start out here before we go inside to kind of show you guys the exterior of the ship because this project, uh, I think it's made us it's kind of dated 2017, so it's not the very latest, but um, it's beautiful nonetheless. It's not finished by all means. You cannot visit the whole ship and explore everything, uh, but there's a fair part and I think the beauty of this is that they put just so much emphasis on detail, you know, even you'll see later on, you know, when we're, when we're inside the ship, even like the cutlery and things like that, they just put an incredible amount of detail. Um, so I think we're gonna skip to, to the ship because I just want to show you guys this, this exterior view because they can make you run around in circles a bit here. Um, but from the outside, I mean, I'm not sure it's, it's finished 100%. Uh, but it, it's also impressive. It also looks beautiful. The scale is impressive. You can play this in VR, by the way. And I think, especially in VR, the scale is going to come out much better than just seeing it here on like a 2D screen, kind of. It's a big old ship, I'm telling you. So we can't go there. Um, they, again, make us run in circles. Uh, can't go in there. If you play play the game, they turn it into a bit of a game where you're kind of the inspector of the Titanic. This is not where she's docked in uh, Southampton, I believe, where she, she left to New York. She, right? I'm saying as if she's a girl. But this is basically when she's docked for pre-inspection, before she can kind of do her maiden voyage, and I'm just going to keep saying she, because it's a boat. It's a lady, you know what I mean? Before she can get on her maiden voyage, she has to be inspected. And in this kind of mod, you're the inspector and you have to inspect it and so they turn the exploration into a little bit of a game but we're going to just play it without the audio they're lovely audio tracks uh, i switched them off but go ahead download this by the way it's it's free and you can try it for yourself uh, so let's jump ahead into the inside of the ship and here we are we have entered the titanic we've come through a slightly different path, not the one we left off on. It's kind of on the back to the rear of the ship. Uh, do you get these pop-up messages? And look at the website there, titanichg.com. Those are the guys who are making the project. I don't know if they're still working on it, how up-to-date it is, but um, it sure is a magnificent piece of work. Uh, so we're going to take a walk around and try to feel like we're entering the Titanic. All right, let's go. We can kind of toggle those boxes with the eye. So here we go. And what I found when I first entered this area, that it has like a really eerie vibe to it. I don't know if it is the accuracy of the furniture, the space. You can hear like a light clock ticking in the background. It has an extremely eerie atmosphere. I mean, obviously it's a giant ship and we're kind of the only ones on it. But I think it would make for a great horror game, let's be honest. I mean, holy smokes. It's creepy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find some images and just augment them with what you see here. Uh, obviously images of the original interiors, so you can kind of compare them. Let's take a look. I mean, look at that. It looks magnificent reflections on the floor i mean the textures of the tiles i'm not sure it all comes across as good as it does here but it looks gorgeous and uh, I, I mean i don't know how well this is documented but i believe they went into as much detail as they could in order to replicate any even so tiny detail that they could source about this ship so this is obviously where the upper class would dine, you know, where the rather wealthy ladies and gentlemen would enjoy their dinner or lunch. And uh, 
it's beautiful. You have these mini chandeliers up there on the ceiling. It has a strange The Shining vibe to it. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the the giant hotel in The Shining staircases. You know, you know what I mean. It has a little bit of that vibe. What does this say up here? Emergency door. Oh, here we go. But what do we have here? So we're really now kind of in the belly of the ship, it feels like. You have those pipes running everywhere. Can go down even more and oh look at that. That is where the regular people, the peasants, would eat. It is for the peasants. It's a bit nicer, I feel. You know, it feels a bit closer to home. You, who, who needs six forks and eight knives? I'm not sure who, but I probably prefer to eat down here. I think it looks lovely. And I believe there's a photograph. Is it a bit like that? <clears throat> if I find it, I'll put it in. Again, all the photographs I'm putting in are, from what I can find out, real photographs of the real Titanic before it went on its maiden voyage. You could make an incredibly scary, subtle horror game. Just like tiny things moving. Shadows here and there. Damn. Damn, it would be creepy. So I can hear the machines, right? <clears throat> there must be an entrance to the machine deck. Or how do you call that? The engine room? Probably it's the engine room. Musicians. Look at that. The accommodation for the musicians. We know those, right? They play till the end. You know, good good men. And women? Good men, I believe. Engineer stewards, everybody gets their accommodation. I think they really aim to recreate all these rooms. I mean, obviously a lot of them are just the same. Because they're standard accommodation. But still, nonetheless, it's an incredibly ambitious project. It feels... I don't know, it's the textures. It, I mean, consider this is from 2017. I mean, I'm sure they've been updating it and all that. But... Uh, it looks incredible. Um, it's little little things like, oh look, we have here like a bunk bed room. I don't know if this is for crew, what does it say? Second class stewards, there you go, this, this is crew accommodation. Um, I was about to say it's the, the subtle things like the reflection in those wooden boards on the floor. You hardly notice it, but it's there. It reflects the lights from the wall and somehow it's those little details that make it even more immersive. Oh, hello. Crew only. Yes, I am crew. Consider myself crew. Look at that. Look <laughs> at that gigantic pipe. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's go. So we're in the engine room. It's hot. It's hot down here. I'm sweating. Oof. Great soundscape they're doing here. It really feels like the heat is just coming from underneath. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, the engine room. You remember Rose and whatever DiCaprio's name was? Running along here, holding hands. Having a little romantic moment. I'm not sure how they got down here. And how that really makes sense but it was crazy romantic so you would kind of take the coal what do we have here a book uh -huh. so take the coal put it in there keeps the ship going yeah gigantic steam machines i like it i like the engine room but i'm also happy when i'm back outside Ah, it kind of really gives me goosebumps. It's really weird. It's, it's something really eerie to this space. And I think it's also to do with just the history that you know that everything you see here was built, was crafted, was designed, was uh, nearly unprecedented for the time. It was a big achievement. But it never... Well, we all know the story, you know. It's... It's a very tragic and sad story. So I think somehow that story just kind of subconsciously sits above everything 
you know, as you're walking around. It's really quite interesting. Let's walk over here. What is this anyway? Passenger inquiry desk. Right, so it's a little bit like a hotel lobby or something. Where you could go and sign up. Say, hey, we have arrived. Obviously, I don't think that would be for the peasants. That would be for the upper class, well-paying customers. So let's go into the state rooms, CS5. And I think also all these kind of rooms, you can go into some of them have been modeled after the ship's plans, basically, and photographies that people found. I don't even know how well, I mean, obviously there were plans, but how well the Titanic was documented in terms of photography on the inside, because obviously at that time, <clears throat> you know, photography was an expensive thing, and you don't just go around and shoot 400 photos inside a ship. You're very careful about what you photograph. So there's definitely photos of, like, you know, the big staircase with the light dome above it and stuff. But I don't know if they captured photos of the, the rooms, the actual cabins. Again, I'm going to Google that, and I might answer my own question and put some images on the screen. So here you go. Then you would see a, a cabin, and I don't think this would be a cheap cabin. You know, that would be a middle to upper class cabin. I mean, look, you've got a marble sink. That's a thing. And... Uh, cabinet, you know, which is nicely carved and a little desk with a mirror. It's luxury, you know what I mean? It's it's absolute luxury. So this would be very expensive for the time. I mean, just imagine kind of being in here and then the ship kind of hits the iceberg. Maybe you ignore it in the beginning. You just want to sleep through. You don't want to be bothered and then everything starts kind of tilting. It's creepy, man. It's creepy stuff. Look at little details here. There's buttons, the hinge, the door lock mechanism. Lovely. So you do get a bit of a plan here, the sea deck, all those cabins. And I guess that's what they're working after. That's what they're replicating. Huh. Let's keep going. So one more thing to mention is that if you press I, you activate these little pop-ups everywhere. They're kind of shown through little golden coins that hover, and as you walk up to them, you get actually an incredible amount of information and research that they did about the passengers, in this case, that were in those rooms. And of course, also you get information um, about the spaces you're in and the background. So I would highly recommend exploring it yourself because it is really a beautiful document um, that tells a beautiful story. Uh, so we're descending down to the uh, F deck. Look, we're getting these little pop up messages now because I still have them active. F deck is the lowest deck of the grand staircase. There are no first class cabins on this deck, and apart from the floor of the squash court, no first class facilities below this deck. The cooling room. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Turkish bath cooling room. This richly appointed room is where passengers would go to cool off after a rigorous bathing process. All right, there you go. It was a very luxurious ship. So here we have the electric bath. That sounds spectacular. Oh, we get a little bit of a peek there at the pool, but not too much. But that is spectacular. And I believe, again, there are photos available from this space. Gonna, gonna put it right here. Let's go upstairs. We still haven't seen the main uh, entrance. Oh, there it is, I think, there it is. The staircase with the dome. Does it have a name? I'm sure it has a name. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It's timeless design, isn't it? Timeless. And this mechanic of like the diffused white light, you know, Apple still uses it in their shops. That's the light they use. Look at that chandelier up there. It's a shame I can't zoom in because it really looks like it's got more detail than I can see from here. Well, would you look at all this? It is incredible. They did such a good job. 
capturing this. Let's see. I think we have two cabins over here. Yes. So that is, oh my, look at that. That's pure luxury. You get a big, big space on the Titanic with your own window. And, uh, you know, two extra beds for the kids or whatever. Unfortunately, you can't enter those spaces yet. I think that's the gentleman's lounge, the smoker's lounge or whatever it is. But uh, I, I guess they're working on it. Put it there as placeholder. You can look through the window, but it's not all done yet. And then over here, first of all, we have another room. And that is the room of uh, one of the guys that was also in the movie, the guy who built the Titanic. I don't recall his name. It's embarrassing. But this is kind of a replica of his room where he has all the plans and they're doing finishing final touches with tools, right? To fix it all up before it goes on the big first voyage. We're all so excited. And then over here you have a bit of a sun deck. That's unfortunately the only thing you can really see of the deck. You can't go outside on deck yet. And I hope that that's coming at some point. But right now it's not there. Oh look, there's the barber shop. Titanic had its own barber shop, obviously. You would be on there for quite a while, so you would need a barber here. The barber's hours are between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Make an appointment, please. Notices. Please consider a contribution if you enjoy this early demo of Titanic Honor and Glory. There's the link for the contribution. Please contribute, everybody because I want to see this project grow. We need more projects like this, right? Because it really feels like a great way to preserve history and to preserve, you know, objects. I mean, especially now with, what is it called? Photo telemetry, is it that? You know what I mean. Basically, you scan a 3D object and turn it into a digital 3D object. And then also with VR, you're definitely going to be able to preserve, I don't know, airplanes, you know, ships like this things that in a hundred years are going to be amazing to visit because they don't really exist anymore. So I kind of see more than just like a funny little demo in this. I think it's a great way to actively preserve history. Over here we have, what is that, the restaurant. Look at that. So we have the restaurant. We haven't been here yet. And I believe this restaurant was inspired by Paris. It was supposed to be like a Parisian type of restaurant because I mean what are you going to do on a boat like that there's no Wi-Fi in case you didn't know there was no Wi-Fi at the time so people had to I guess go to restaurants so I don't know there are no windows here yeah is that part of the flare it's like an outdoor windy restaurant what do we have here oh look it's Harry Potter dressed as a captain I like that So I, I do like the cabinet over here. I do want to look at that for a second. They really cladded everything with this ivy. And uh, I believe even the... Let me see. Is the insignia on the plates? It must be. I can't really see it well enough, unfortunately. I just want to check. Because in the movie, the Titanic movie, I know that James Cameron even went into that level of detail of replicating the uh, plates. Um, and the cutlery and everything they had in that in the boat and oh my god look at this absolutely beautiful but also absolutely creepy I mean it's weird it nearly kind of has like an oppressing feeling to it it's like whew, the breathing is harder in here it's a weird thing. And I am aware that it's just a digital representation of a space. <laughs> Look at that. Again, hopefully I can find some pictures of those spaces and put them in. I don't know. We'll see. But the bar over there. How would anyone enter that bar? would jump over the counter, I guess. 
it's work in progress. And again, like all the cutlery, you know, the chairs. I really wait for like a little shadow to move somewhere in the distance. I would out a fear so quickly. Let's keep moving. So there, oh, there it is. Café Parisien. Le Café Parisien. Oh, oui, monsieur. Uh, so it's the Parisian Café. And uh, it's French for some reason. I guess people thought ivy and a lot of wind is very French. I don't know. Like, I like it, though. It's not that I don't like it. Well, to be honest, I think that's probably it. Unless I'm missing any small things. I can't even go up here. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've seen everything. And I, I mean, I didn't want to make a big video out of this. I just wanted to show you guys around. Because I think it's a lovely thing to see. And there are a few things to consider beyond just it being a tech demo, like I said earlier. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned a few things and seen a few things that you had not seen before. If you did, then please smash that like button underneath. You can subscribe to the channel. And that would be appreciated. I'd hope to see you at a live stream, maybe, or in other videos. And uh, I think while we're here in the grand staircase with the magnificent light dome, we're going to end the video on this view. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out.